Welcome to the official Windows 8 Lessons channel and this is Lesson 5. In Lesson 5 we're going to check how to actually go through the different apps that you use and how to switch between apps. One of the things that you will notice in Windows 8.1 is that when you use an app or a program, for example I have used my desktop app here, I can use my Internet Explorer and go do some searches for example uh, let's say we will try to find flowers an example you press that Windows key on your keyboard to actually go out of the app and come back to your start screen your apps are not closed at this point the apps are still running and this is where the app bar is useful if you have a touch device you can swipe from the left side of the screen into the uh, right side to get the app bar. If you don't have a touch device with your mouse, you go into the left side corners and then slowly go down and you'll see all the apps that you've used in the app bar. And here you see all the apps that I've opened since I've been using my computer uh, a, little, a little earlier this morning. So, for example, I went through different uh, some games, some apps that I wanted to check for. I went to the Microsoft Store. I've got Internet Explorer that's open right here. So, um, what I do is, if for example I want to go back to my weather, then I went, I go down to my weather app, which brings me my weather for Montreal. Then I press the Windows key, I want to go back to my Internet Explorer, so I'm going to switch app, just go back to your charms bar on the left side, uh, sorry, not charms, but the app bar on the left side, and click your Internet Explorer browser. And you're back into your Internet Explorer experience. So having these apps still running and open on the left side of the screen in the app bar is a very nice feature because it enables you to actually switch between different apps easily when they are already open. So that's the way to actually switch between one app and the other. Now the app bar also has another feature that you might need or want to use. It's nice to have all these apps running, but one of the biggest problems is if you have too many apps running at the same time, your computer can slow down. It can behave badly if, some, if too many apps are open. If you've been going around through all the apps in your computer, uh, well, you might have 15, 20 apps open in the app bar. So what do you do to close these apps? Well, it's quite easy when you're on the app bar by going once again into the corner and going back down to the app bar or by swiping if you have a touch device from the left side of your screen, you can right click on a app and here you'll have close. You can actually close it. So by right-clicking an app, you can actually close it. You can also drag it into your screen to have it showing up. That's another feature. If you don't, um, if you touch it, you can actually slide it into the screen, and it's going to turn on the apps. Of course, you can close down every app you want by right-clicking on the app bar if you don't want that app anymore. So just go, right-click, and choose close for all the apps that you don't want to have running in the background. Running apps also will uh, give you some notifications sometimes. So if you open, for, for example, the Facebook app and you don't close it, what can happen here is that the Facebook app, when your friends comment on a uh, status of your own or um, if it's another type of app, for example, the weather app can actually bring you notifications of bad weather and stuff like that. If you don't want to have these app in on your screen, then you have to make sure that your app is actually closed. So just go into the app bar on the left and close them by right clicking. One of the uh, features for touchscreen users is also that some uh, computers enable you to actually uh, close the apps by touching the app and leaving your finger for about a second or two and it will pop up that little window with the options of the app in the app bar on the left side. If you go into the corners or swipe and nothing happens, then 
you don't probably don't have any apps running in the background. So if you just turned on your computer, for example, um, well, on the start screen, nothing. You didn't click any apps. You didn't open any programs. Then one of the things that you might actually find is that the app is the app bar is not there because nothing has been opened yet. So um, that's how you uh, go into that app bar on the left side, switch between apps. Uh, it's okay to have many apps open. Actually, it's even better because if you have three or four apps that you use all the time, having them open all the time in the app bar makes it very easy to actually go and get that app and switch between different apps while you're using your computer. If you enjoy our lessons, please subscribe to our channel. You will be informed when new lessons are online. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. Maybe you have uh, comments about these lessons and things that you might want to change or um, let us know. By the way, I'm really sorry a few of my videos have a, a little buzzing sound. Um, I have a problem with my headset and my laptops. The, the seems that the power supply actually in, creates a little buzz in the computer. So I'm trying to fix that the best I can. So sorry for that. And uh, hey, hopefully you uh, can uh, give us thumbs up if you like the lessons. Share with everyone. And, uh, you know, this is going to be the place if we can help you um, use your computer with Windows 8.1 to the maximum, help you use it and learn how to use it. Uh, we will try to do our best. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to our computer lessons. Bye-bye.